If you haven't noticed this, you will sometime find out that not everything can be embedded on a WordPress site, on WordPress.com. You can easily embed YouTube videos, as you can see here, I've embedded one on the front page of our sample learning log site. But some things that you try to embed, WordPress will strip the code out if it's a flash code. But there is an easy way to get around this, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's called using VOD Pod. So let me go to that site. It's VODPod.com. First of all, you'll need to create an account on that site. So if you have not created an account, you can there'll be a link over here. I'm already signed in. I have my own VOD Pod account. And I'm going to show you how you can add a VOD Pod widget to your learning log but how you can also just post directly from VODPOD to your learning log embedding the media that WordPress will not embed because it strips out the code. So first let me show you how to use VODPOD to embed media on a blog post on your learning log. So you have to kind of get used to this another interface that you have to get used to. And I have some videos here on my VOD Pod site. And I put just a sample voice thread on here because one of the things you'll find out is that you cannot embed the voice thread code directly to a WordPress.com post. Let me go to voice thread and I'll pick another I'll pick another voice thread and, and show you how you get the embed code and everything. I'm signed into VoiceThread and I'm going to select a sample VoiceThread that VoiceThread people have created. So let's try the, the Doodler. And when I click this cog wheel up here to show options, I can either get the share, which would be the, this is the the link, the copy link and share, or you can get the embed code, which is right here. You can copy the embed code. Now with VODPOD, you can use either the embed code or the URL. So let me show you. You can just copy the URL. Now let's go back to your VODPOD and say we're going to add a video. This would be your voice thread, obviously. And see, it says embed object iframe or URL. So I'll go ahead and add that URL. I just hit Control V or Apple Command V and I'll click continue and there you can see the video. You'll verify that this is in fact the correct voice thread and you'll say yes this is the video and the title will keep this the same. What is a voice thread? And we'll do some tags. We'll say voice thread and I think it's commas. Yeah, you put a comma there. And then we might put um, EdTech 501. You can put it whatever tags you want. And you can also write comments. Here's a place where you can put comments about this video. And then select Save. Now here's where you can directly post to your blog. If you click WordPress, you'll have to enter this the first time because you haven't, you've never posted, let's say, to WordPress. So you'll select WordPress and you'll put your blog URL. I'm going to post this to the EdTech BSU sample learning log. You'll need to use your username and password, of course, to get in. And here's where you can write your post, or if you want, you can leave it blank and go back to your WordPress post and add stuff there. You can even say it's a draft, but we're going to go ahead and publish this to our WordPress site. And it says, OK, it's, it's been published. So in fact, it gives you the URL. And we can go directly here. And as you can see, ta-da, there's the voice thread embedded on your post. So you can really impress people by knowing how to do this. 
Now I'm going to show you one more thing and that's called a VOD pod widget. You might want to also put a sidebar widget on your learning log with all of with your media that you've posted to VOD pod. You don't have to, but it's I'll show you how to do it. So we'll go to our dashboard or we can just go directly to widgets. I forget about this handy way to get to things now. And we're going to go ahead. Now this depends upon your theme. If your theme doesn't have VOD pod videos, you might want to select another one. So we're going to drag this up here. And let's say we'll put it at the very bottom. Now here's where you have to put your short code. We're already signed in to VOD pod. So we're going to get our widget code. Click that little link. And this will show you your widget code. Hit control C for copy. Then go back to your widget, control V or Apple command V. I'm not sure about enabling the widescreen player. Learn more. You can find out more about that. Click save. And then you can close that widget if you want. So that's saved. Now let's go back to the front page of our learning log and see that widget. So there it is. I have one video posted and that's a little VOD pod widget. And again, under our blog page, we have the voice thread and here's where you can select edit or you can just edit from your dashboard. And here's where you could write more things about it. Here's the code. There's the short code. And you think that type looks a little bit small. Let's select that and make sure we've got paragraph formatting on that. Click update. And then we're going to view our post. So we have our video up here and here we can write a reflection about the post. So this is a great way for you to be able to embed multimedia content on your WordPress.com learning log where the code is normally being stripped out. Use VODPOD, VODPOD.com, create an account, add your video, and go from there. I think you'll enjoy knowing about this great tool you can use.